guys, look what we freaking did. We cleaned out the entire garage, pretty much. Except for the ping pong table, but that's all like mostly Don's stuff. He's gonna probably clean that up. Um, we made space for band practice. All we need to do now is get everything we need. Um, <coughs> oh, <coughs> some <something> in my throat. <coughs> oh, goodness. Every time you do that, I bet the audio goes away and gets quiet. So be careful. Um, so, DJ, I just said every time you do that, it's gonna make me quiet. Um, so Tony's got both the cabs for the guitars. Um, one of them's gonna go right here. Um, it's gonna be DJ's. And Tony's is gonna go over here, and then there's Herb's bass, but he has the other half of the cab. We're gonna stack it, so he's gonna be over here, and of course Mark, and then we're getting the powered speakers and putting them right here. One will be like right here, and one will be here. They'll be on stands, and we'll be able to move the one that's right here out of the way over here, and then we can use that at, at all times. Nothing's blocking it. We've got this all covered, and then I will stand right here, of course, and I'll be able to see everybody, and I'll be able to move everywhere I want. I don't know if we vlog <laughs> this, but... Um, back when we were playing, the legs from the bass drum used to give in, so I wrapped tape around it so you can't, yeah. so you can't give in anymore. Well, he wrapped it like, where's the symbol? What? Oh, he yeah, wrapped, I also he wrapped, this. he wrapped like a really thick layer, like a really long piece of tape and just kept wrapping it. He did that for this too, and then he put an extra one over it. Um, and we just put this because this one doesn't really slide, but we did like a, we wrapped some tape. To make sure that there's no issues! <coughs> Yay! I, mean, I guess it's possible that whole chunk of tape could slide down, which would suck because we wouldn't be able to slide it back up, but <laughs> I guess we're taking the... But yeah, this... The reason I did it here too is because this used to give in every once in a while. There's like a, a little metal piece there that's, mm -hmm. that holds the symbol up. And the metal piece was kind of bending and every once in a while it would just like give in and the symbol would just fall. And it would just be like kind of hanging on the on the pole and it would just be flopping around as he was hitting it and he'd have to like stop using the symbol. So I think I fixed everything. Yes, yeah, so we'll put a light here so it won't be so dark over here when we vlog uh, the drums and the bass. So, Yay! Uh, we're covering everything, yeah, beeps! We're running from our mistakes and trying to cover everything. Yep. Um, the reason we're getting new speakers is because I have to be behind the speakers and that would require us putting the, like the only place the speakers can really go is right here. That's why we, last year we had the ping pong table right here. And we put both those speakers sitting on the ping pong table so I could be behind them. If I'm not behind them, we'll get feedback, obviously. So... Um, Does anyone want to buy these speakers and this yeah, power mixer? So we need new speakers. Um, we're going to get powered speakers so that we don't need a preamp. Or I mean, an, is that what it's called? So is that what we're using? A power amp. A power amp. So we don't need a power amp for it, and we don't need a table to put them on. Just get ones on stands, that'd be awesome. <laughs> um, so I guess we gotta get to selling. We're gonna sell our 70. It's what we made the Shaytards intro with, and yeah. all that stuff. It's our, it's our, uh, has old memories. Um, we're gonna sell that. The and H4N. And the H4N, because now we have the H6 and the Zoom <coughs> for audio. Um, so we're gonna sell those two, we know for sure. We might. DJ's thinking about selling his Les Paul studio, but we're not sure if we're going to do that. Um, those two things, the though. The black one. Yeah, the black one. Not his <laughs> uh, robot guitar. And once we get those two things sold, we can get the speakers. And uh, well, we're, I mean, we're trying for we're also, in-ears. We also want to sell these two speakers and that power mixer. But I doubt we're going to. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we're getting a lot of stuff out of the way. I mean, yeah. It would be cool if we could sell them. But... They definitely won't pay for the amount that my in-ears will cost. Wait, would they? Maybe. I don't know. Well, if we get the cheap in-ears, well, it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all. But if we get the lower end ones, um, the, what are they, car Carvin? Well, we're, we're, she's talking about the, like, the... Receiver, right? Receiver. No, I mean the... Transmit transmitter? Um. I don't know, those words confuse me. <laughs> um, but she, yeah, she's talking about the actual like device that you plug in and so she could hear it's like the device that the wireless device. She's not talking about the headphones, but yeah. um, we're gonna get we want to get like sure headphones and um, Carmen I guess is kind of like um, 
like a knockoff of Sure, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I forget the word. Um, like an off-brand of Sure or something. Um, but they, they kind of remake like Sure stuff. And th there's this like popular in-ear transmitter or whatever called like the Sure something 900. And that's like one of the top of the line. And the top top of the line is a 1000. Um, but Carvin makes a 900 also, which isn't anywhere near as, as good as a Sure. But it's a lot cheaper and it goes really well on eBay. Like the resale value like sucks compared to shares, which would like sell for pretty much the same price. Um, so we're thinking about getting the Carvin to replace like this like really crappy one that we've been using, and then she's gonna get brand new like sure headphone in ears. Yep. They're, they're the, well, I don't know if if you guys have any suggestions for like the headphone in ears like. Something that's really good that would make her hear herself really well and sing really well because she can hear herself really well. Um, suggest it in the comments. But the Shures are kind of like, that's what you, that's like the standard sort of. Um, so yeah, we're thinking about getting that and then the Carvin on eBay, probably, I don't know, to get some cheap. But we gotta work quickly. We gotta sell that stuff. So, I'm not sure if we're going with eBay or Craigslist or what. We haven't figured that out yet. But... If anyone has any suggestions for the transmitter or If whatever. there's somebody in the comments that is that wants something we named, yeah. you are actually willing, you have the money, you're willing to buy it from us, we will put it, we'll, we'll figure something out. Especially if you're willing to buy it for more than it costs. What's that? To support us. <laughs> what is that? It looks really scary. Is it a bug? I don't know, it looks creepy. It seems like a wand or something. It looks like wings. I don't know. It's like a dead something, I think. It's like a spider caught in Dude, his Dude, that's butt. like a weird looking, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh. But yeah, we're selling the 70, please, the H4N. Yes, please tell us if you're gonna. These PV speakers with this power mixer, which is like a, what is it? Uh, a phonic power pod 2280. That's what that is. And these are uh, with an Apple sticker. These are PVPR 15s. <laughs> That's a joke. We can but take I that off. Still an Apple. Unless you want it. Oh, it has it on that one too. But um, yes. Before we go and put it on something, um, we'd like to know if somebody actually really wants to buy it from us. What What are the prices going to be? We probably want to know the prices if they want to buy it. I think uh -huh. we're selling the 7D. What was the price that we came up with? Like 700. I don't know. I think it was. Ma yeah, maybe. That was yeah. that was the resale like used price um, range. Well, I mean, if you want to buy it for more to support us, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Um, and the H four N, I think we came up with like, what well, I don't remember. I wrote it down on something. I'm gonna go check now. I'll make sure this is still going because the battery is dying. Ah. All right. Let's see. I wrote it down. Where did I write it down? I have so many papers here. No, I'm not there. No, I'm not there. Here we go. Um. Oh, we said we said uh, six hundred dollars for the seventy at the lowest. Um, one hundred and seventy-five dollars for the H4 Zoom, which is this H4N. I mean, H4N is what it is. Um, handy recorder. Oh, I'm too high. <laughs> That's. That's that. And um, the Les Paul Studio for $800 to $1,000 is what we we're thinking. I'm not sure if we're selling that yet, but um, if you have any questions about the speakers and the, uh, what do you call it, mixer, we don't know the price yet. Well, my we dad will reply to you in the comments, though, if you're my dad, interested. My dad said he got everything for like 1000 total, like the yeah. speakers and the mixer. But you're not going to sell yeah. that for that much because it's used and old. Maybe like seven or eight hundred maybe I don't know for everything um, if you just want the speakers though I'd say like 200 each yeah um, probably I don't know we're just like guesstimating we're not this isn't these, yeah we these prices aren't if final. you're yeah if you're interested we'll like look more into it and tell you in the comment comments section <laughs> yeah um, and by, by the way we did blow one of the speakers last year but we completely replaced the cone that was blown yeah so, that so sounds it's, good. it's like the speakers are pretty much like brand new they should be working just fine. Um, and the mixer, I'm pretty sure everything is perfectly fine, except there's like one, I think there's like one knob that's kind of like, 
like someone hit it and it's bent, but it still works, it still turns, but it's just like it's not sticking perfectly out. Like, I don't know. Batteries flashing. So I, I think I think it is. Maybe it's a different mixer I'm thinking of, but that's all I can think of as far as like issues with them. So that's what we were doing all night and I didn't have time to edit the vlog, sadly. So um, we'll put that up tomorrow, obviously. But uh, I uh, hope you enjoyed our one take and if you're interested in buying anything from us, let us know. Oh, what about the Gibson? I said that. Oh, you said what? The the Les Paul Studio. We said 800 to 1,000. Oh, yeah. Um, the, Le the Les Paul Studio is not in very good condition, just to be completely honest. Um, I think there's some, like, gashes in the back. I don't know. Should we look at it right now? It's in the garage. I don't know, but the battery's flashing and it's been 10 oh. minutes, almost 11 minutes. Alright, well. Well, yeah, we'll uh, check that out and stuff. So, let us know and we'll see you guys tomorrow. You just gotta be yelled!